there something on my face? <laughs> nah, I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> uh, I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. All right, let's go. All right, here comes the Urelo 6 Trailblaze team. That was a cool photo. Put your butts together. Oh, where are you on the planet? This is that one. Where's my lake murmurs at? Urelo 6. We're here. Where's our coda? <sighs> it really is one big snowball. Well, the trailblaze path calls. grants us faint power. It allows us to better adapt to harsh environments. Okay. <sighs> Snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. And then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Okay. I didn't know we'd be hiking. If only we had a snowmobile! We never get to bring anything cool from the express. Do you remember what you did to our last snowmobile? <laughs> anyway, moving on! Oh, remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on! You've got a Stellaron in your body. I had my special six-phase ice powers, and Don Hung, uh, he's got that mysterious past thing going for him. Okay, then. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. Yep. Yeah, let's just make sure we're not the ones that causes creating the trouble. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Let's go! Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing! Alright, now we got a new pop up. Thanks to the navigation system, the Astro, you cannot travel. Okay. This place still hasn't been corroded. Yet fragmentum monsters have already made it here. It's too late to repent. That was a quick one. <laughs> a quick gift one. from the stars. That was quick. Reach the end of the story in your own. Alright. What a strange object. This seems out of place in the snowy plains. Maybe Mr. Yang will know what this is. Let's send a message and ask him. What is this, Mr. Yang? It's a Kellogg's, a strange entity born from phenomenal space. There are some reality dead in it. In your coming journey, you might come across other Kellogg's like this. The reality data is stored into various sort of look of okay. A new feature, Golden Kellogg's defeat and open the peace journal. Game these can cost trouble. Okay. I tell I guess I do it just for ah, so what do we get for play want to do two waves oh to level 16 or not hold on for one second Hello? 
Yeah, can you just put it in the mailbox? All right, I'm back. All right, so. Yeah, I'm not level 16, so I better not quite do that. Or I could just, I could just heal them up. Let's do that. So we're gonna click on characters. So, well, see, I'm stuck with these. We have to do this now? No, we don't. Alright, cool. But if we have to, uh, I don't feel like leveling those characters to that. It's too late to repent. <laughs> A gift from the stars. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Alright, so we're going to reach the story. Investigate. Hey, get out of there or you'll shiver to death. Oh, we're going to get another character? Holding your breath won't help. Uh, I got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. Get out! My oh. fine fellow, was that really necessary? Who's Is this? crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. Are you looking at me? But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Is Captain Jeppard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Who? Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Sampo Koski. Um. Um, me. Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but fear not. Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together. <laughs> Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel. The main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity. For what? Business, are you Come talking now, about? friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Sure, then again, <laughs> I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than 10 feet from a silver main guard. 10 feet? Is there a settlement nearby? Settlement? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. The further away you get, the dicier things become. The city of preservation, the towering citadel, humanity's last bastion against the eternal freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. Impregnable walls. So why were you hiding in the snow? Me? You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. I thought the Silvermane guards were paying me a visit. Seriously, though, try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, 
They won't hide in a snowdrift. And you'll be in a cell before you know it. I have no idea who these silver, silver main guards even are. You really don't know? The silver main guards are Bellabog's soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. Hey. Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. Okay. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an I like this guy. To all of it. His personality. Daddy, why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost. We don't have anything to pay you with. be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Kosky's middle name. Follow me, <laughs> friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can take them. So why were you hiding from the Silver Main guards? Yeah, I was just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need for secrecy. So where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just care about my friends. No pressure. I think I have to get, yep. Got the space anchor. Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps invisible. me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Who are they? Hmm. Uh, you remember the silver main guards I mentioned? That's uh, them. Oh, we got Help this. me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them. Arrest them. I didn't do anything. It's now or never. Over to you, dear friends. Hey, where do you think you're? All right, so we can't. So A gift from the stars. Bam. Oh, cool. I get to use my whole. I don't need to. Do... Right, so we'll go single target. Favor the vigor. Oh. Clemency? Never heard of it. We'll do the ethereal dream. This sanctuary is but a vision. One down. Everything is ordained by the stars. Secret to the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Bam. A guest with no manners, huh? Oh, of course, I just be boost. Here's battle two. Who's the lucky one today? Let's go. Batter up. I have to go to the other one. You're in bad shape. Hit the wrong one. <laughs> oh, I'm all right. Clemency? Never heard of it. All right, one down. Two more to go. 
Look out. That was pretty, um... Take this! Alright, last one. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Oh, her healing's pretty good. We did. Scared yet? <laughs> oh, what do we got here? I'm kind of super. Jepard Landau, captain of the Silver Main Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Oh, okay, my uh, foot that Sambo cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. Suspect, relinquish your resistance. Uh, so I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on <laughs> you. A gift from the start. Oh. Let's make it quick. Naughty children, don't listen. Do I need to heal anybody? Nope. Attack it, target him. Savor the vigor of I'm okay. On my command. Oh. For glory. That's not cool. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Go. This sanctuary. It's but a vision! Uh-huh. I don't remember inviting you. Nope. We'll try this. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! I A guest with no manners, huh? Who's... Look oh. out! Oop. All right, so then I'll... Take this! Still, uh, I'm good on that. Nap time. <laughs> Resistance is futile. Oh God, I want to heal her now. Clemency, never heard of it. <laughs> Let's go. Mama. Restore. All better now. Saving me Step won't aside. do any favors. I have no interest in stoking conflict. I don't remember inviting you. Look out! There's <laughs> grenade. Let's make right. it quick. Rules are made to be broken. Prime suspect? The one with the blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. Are you run? <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. We're not his accomplices. Yeah, we'd never team up with someone like him. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but... We're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. 
We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the Architects, not the now. Architects. Take them away. We could have beat these people. But we're not from Bellabog! Uh, take a look at your clothes. Silence! What kind of nonsense are you? As you were, we must not be tempted into careless judgment. Look at their attire. Indeed, it is not in the Bellabog style. Exactly! Uh, and we even have photos! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold, Yarilo 6. More seven shows get part of the picture. You say that this white ball that's here, that's our home? How can that... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Oh? Why will we follow you? Are Welcome we to, to Bellabog. <clears throat> The city of preservation. Hey, are we going to get locked up? <clears throat> oh, wow. Wow, that's a pretty city. Oh, that's a cool. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Klepoth. Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. He's sure saying some weird stuff. Marked change in tone. It sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Uh-huh. So why is he telling us all this? You wanted to know. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, cool. I hit level 10. Oh, let's keep going. We saw strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. A fragmentum, correct? How do you... That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the monsters you saw. The Silver Main Guards are continuously engaged with the enemy, but I'm afraid the situation is bleak. Why? After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. We're lacking in intel. <laughs> We're here. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the Architects. 
The architects? The saviors of humanity. Long before the arrival of the Eternal Freeze, the architects braved the doubts and derision of the people, never wavering from their construction of its defenses. History has proven that their decision was the correct one. The architects named this fortress after Klippoth, Eon of Preservation. Under their direction, humanity has withstood external enemy attacks and held off the Eternal Freeze. Even today, we resist the Fragmentum's corrosion. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. The Supreme uh. Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the Architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The current Guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every uh, major strategic Rand. decision is issued by her. Okay. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. You got it. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? You look fine. You've got some snow in your hair, but no one will notice. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Madame Kokolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. Got it. But that's a meaningless sacrifice. How can you... <clears throat> you may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. Oh, <sighs> yes, mother. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jepard. You may leave. Jepard. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? Yep. <laughs> I am Kakolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. So you believe in a... Okay, so you don't doubt our identity? First one, the second one was... Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself. <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. The architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. Okay. An eon connected our planet to other worlds and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klopoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. We want to help you. We came here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the Eternal Freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as Fragmentum Space Corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. <sighs> Eternal Freeze a product of the Stellaron. Stellarons bring about different disasters on different worlds, but every world seeded with a Stellaron will give birth to Fragmentums. You can see us as kind-hearted, interstellar public servants, lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. 
Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of, some of which prove vexatious to us even today. Vexatious. But why should you care? Well, even if this Stellaron you speak servants. of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. Please, let us help you. Yeah, FYI, we're pretty awesome. Uh, you know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. Oh. It's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. Thank you, Supreme Guardian. It should be me thanking you. Visitors from beyond the sky. Oh, thank I you. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. Uh oh, something's up. He's mad. Or something. Of course, I understand. Do not worry. I have a way. You have a way. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. Okay. Very reasonable. You know, I didn't think things were gonna go that smoothly. <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. You got it. Uh, wait, can you recommend some sites? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. Oh? And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Okay. Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane Guard stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. So the corrosion is inside the city. Well, that's a grave situation. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. Thanks, dude. Alright, we gotta go check out these places. I guess we'll start here. Newspaper seller there. Wow, look at the carved ice. It feels perfect for this city somehow. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? Let's see what the newspaper guy has to say. Out of the presses, a new fee. Yes, please.
Tells me I need to buy them all, so. Alright. So let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silvermane Guards, and a temporary guide for the A Journey Through Bellabug's History Program. My name is Pelageya Sergeyevna. Okay. But you can we call me Pela. Hi, Pela. Yes, Miss Pela. Remain silent. Okay, guys. Take a look over here. This is Everwinter Monument. It was erected to commemorate the mighty architects. The architects are followers of the Eon Klopath. It was oh. they that foresaw crisis, built up our walls, and established Bellabog, preserving the spark of human civilization. Even today, they are still tending to the city. Everwinter Monument is made up of two parts, a gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength, and huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal breeze. These two symbols are bound together, the gear restricting the ice. It represents the unyielding spirit of the architects in the face of nature's barbarity. Any questions? Interesting. All right, let's go check out the hotel. You know what? Never winter workshop. Hey, didn't Japard say there'd be a show here? He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Ah, oh, darn. I wanted to see one. Oh, I'd been wondering. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? The city is so weird. Normally you'd want a heater inside a building, right? Hmm. Does it sell the repel the eternal freeze? If so, I'm not sure mighty is the right word for these architects. Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. <laughs> You guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Oh, oh wow, she's cool. That's the daughter. Hello. Hi there. The name's Serval. I'm the owner of this workshop. If you awesome. got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me, though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Oh, uh, we're okay. I was just curious about the heater. Curious about the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Geomero? We just got here. Everything's new to us. Got here? Yep. Ah, I figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. You must be them? Yep. What an honor. Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. All right, we're going to go in and chat with Servo. The Never Winter Workshop. Well, this place looks cozy inside. And here she is. The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. Oh, uh, what did they do? The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city, both above and below the surface. Oh, did it below? So what's do you matter? It's an ore, a special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomero. Geomero grows beneath the surface of the planet, and specialist on world mining teams are there to extract it transport lines shuttle it up to the surface in the overworld we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld okay above you and didn't beneath know? bellabog is structured like two big connected disks the overworld is responsible for administration and trade while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction Hey. However, due to an order that was given many years ago, 
Nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Uh, suspicious. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Pretend I never said anything. Nice. Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. Oh. When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. Thanks. No sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. Sure, we're not busy. Great. Then let me give you a demonstration first. All right, we're going to go around and click on the machine and repair. Oh, cool. Mag magnet ther ther magnet fluid threshold. Rotate the modules, adjust the circuits, the current, the power supply. Hey. Yeah, just. Yeah, I think I got it. This is the source. Okay. All right. Oh, it's easy. So that's how it works. All right. So then we got a video recorder. No, it'll be sharp. Wow. Nice. You guys are pretty handy. You pick that up in no time. Want to be my assistants? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. It's too funny. Sure, why not? <laughs> Do you just say yes to everything? Yep. <laughs> I was only kidding. Just a joke. Well, I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? My workshop will always be open to you. And your wallets, of course. Awesome. I need to go. I need to be right back. I'm back. Sorry about that. Let me clear this. Alright, so we need to go outside and we need to go see what's around the hotel.
Can you see all the heaters? Stop Real estate agent. It's in the mailbox. Okay. Ah, oh, that must go down to the... Okay. Uh, that's the alley that Japard mentioned. 